Welcome back to AY Martial Arts Science. Questions regarding about katas. Practicing katas. Katas very important forms. You know, pattern call and circle techniques. Every karate have different katas. So what it does, in Hujuru Karate we learn Tekuku Giren, Chuden, Mawashuki, Kakyuki. So I explained before, if you have time you can work on your stances, Shikudachis, and Sanchan Sadachis, how you do your Mawashukis properly. That stuff is a very, very important part. So before we go to the form to practice, you have to know your basics first. So that helps to get understand the katas mean. So it's very important. Anyway, so if you're doing a practice take the gate and katas, so you're doing bowing first, always musubadachi, you look, keep your body straight. For practicing again, always look at your stance, make sure you knee, everything good, nothing wrong with that. So always your hand beside you, you bow. Excuse us. Good. Then you can announce mukso mean zen. Close your eyes, think about that form you're doing it. And think about that name, you're visualizing that picture on your katas on your mind. Then you do mukso. Opening your eyes, saying kata taikuku giren. You look, circle block. We do a straight punch in Shikudachi. Look, circle block. We straight punch. We practice, we punch Shikudachi. Every time punching, Kiai point. It is very important to remove Shikudachi stances. Keep your body straight, always look, breathing. Now, practice, practice. The secret of it, you can get the best out of it. Now, some people ask me Taikuku Chuden cards. The first one was Taikuku Giren, me first course circle and block. Because we do Shikudachi, we do Shikudachi Raitoshi mean like this. Let me explain you how it works again the Raitoshi. So example, you're making a fist. See your elbow lining up right top of your knuckle, just circling right here. My knuckle pointing top of my knee is just a hooking because that's the way they call hooking block. Make sure hand chamber, your upper body straight. Make sure nothing this, nothing that. Now, this is a great workout on the leg muscle. Very important part. So every time you circle, that's a called hooking block. Make sure your hand not straight. If your hand straight, they could not call Rayatoshi. This is Rayatoshi, this is called Hidden Brother. So make sure to understand the differences before we go to the next class. Tekuku Chude mean we work on a stance is called Sanchun Sadachi, mean short stance. And a lot of time I say Sanchun Sadachi, a lot of students get so confused. So I explain in English, I make it say short stances, short stances, very really important parts. So what it does, they understand. Don't worry, the name and things you will gonna get. Okay, it took years to we figure out, so you will gonna get it. Now, Short stance means Sanchun Sadachi is very important part. Taikoku Chuden and Taikoku Jodan. In some of these katas, they have made it in the short stances and long stances. So example, we practice Shikudachi, uh, Sanchun Sadachi, and Zonku Sadachi. Most of the katas, these things comes by and stance become one. So that's the reason you're seeing the form and I will go through. The next one is Taikoku Chuden. Every time you can be practiced. Again, it's the same thing. It's a musubadachi like this, hand beside you. Always you bow, us. And you close your eyes, open your eyes, say kata taikoku chuden. Remember, look, middle block. Zongu sudachi, straight punch. Look, middle block. Zongu sudachi, straight punch. Look, and you punch, punch, and that's the way your practicing works. And bowing posture goes. Anyway, I'm showing a little bit, a little bit clip of these katas because if you can get practice this thing done, the rest of the katas we can work on it. It's so easy way to understand. Okay, and I will from here I go through the next katas called Taikoku Joda. So basically, three parts of the body. Gidan, Chuden, Jodan, mean high block. 
So, it's the same method of all the katas. Kata taikuku jodan. Look, straight hands high block. It's very important to make sure your fist tight. You're turning blocking. See, make sure your fist line up side of your head. Not this, not touching your head like this. Your head should be hands far away from your head. It is very important hand chamber. You look, straight punch. Now from here, we look and we turn. High block and punch. We look, high block. We punch, we punch. And that's the way Taikoku Jodan works. Next karas. Taikoku Mawashuki. So how work? Again, I explained before how do you practice Mawashuki. Mawashuki means circular, open hand techniques. So again, short stances, very important. On this kata, we're showing combining three stances in one. So like the way I explained. So what happened? Your elbow, top of the knuckle, the hand. Make sure all these fingers always together any open hand techniques. And the thumbs are very important. Stick together like this. So a lot of people does open hand technique this and doing this wrong way. Your bones stay in place, easy to damage. So hands line up straight. So example, how we do mawashuki, turn, bring in hand, chamber, belt, push. Whatever legs forward, that hand stays up. Very important, okay? And the cut as we go, taikoku mawashuki. We look, left comes up. Stepping forward, shikodachi, elbow, back fist, right toshi, sonkusudachi, yakuzoke. Now we look, again, sanchen sudachi, mawashuki. Step, look, comes up. So, example, three stands combine one, short stands, to Shikudachi stands, to Zanku Sudachi stands. That way, the reason I explain, everything belt level goes, colors go higher, that's how it works. Taikoku Kakyuki. Now, very important part, Kakyuki to how practice again. Stance is the same, just a different upper hand techniques. They call them hooking blocks. So every time you're doing Kakyuki again, if you right side forward, the top hand flex, Deflect and pulse. Every time we practice, make sure your hand cross the forearms like this. It's very important. Very important. Now, part of all these katas, you block stance. The bunkais is a very, very important part. Like example, bunkais means stance. Every movement is a meaningful. So you better be known. The more you get good at the katas, your mindset, that's the way it goes. Now we're gonna go through Taikoku Kakyuki. So opening, same thing. Taikoku Kakyuki, opening. You look. Again, elbow. Very important, look. Very important, this deflecting. Very important. Very important, like again, Sancho Sadachi, your hand. Every time you practice, you can look at your hand posture. It's very important. Think about the blocks. Think about open hand. It's the same height like a Taikoku Chuden, like a middle block. Very important part. That's the way it works to practice your katas so you can become good at it. Kata Gikusei Ich. It is very important. Again, your sons to show you Gikusei Ich. I see a lot of different forms of Gikusei Ich. So like again, so far we learn from our senses to pass down to all for years. Very important we follow. following. That's the reason why we say in tradition we follow the, our senses footstep. If you're doing traditional karate, so that is a very, very important part. Is that karas is very important to follow your senses steps. I know you see a lot of different karate is different form, but you follow what your sense is teaching. It's a very important part. Because that's the way call traditional follow the for the step of the sunset. Anyway, kata kiksa each. So you're doing same ukso, same opening. 
So you look, start from high block, straight punch. Shift the hip, doing the Shikudai Chirai Toshi, right from here. Look, you're coming off Sanchan Sadachi, high block. Zonku Sadachi, straight punch, shifting the hip, Shikudai Chirai Toshi. You're coming forward, Sanchan Sadachi, middle block, middle block. That's the way your practicing happens.